Tyreek. Tyreek was so fine to me, y'all. Super sexy. He's very observant. He really pays attention to everything. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I came in uh, a couple times to see you, and your manager told me that you had the day off. You came here to see me? Of course. You can tell when something was going on with Tia. I chose Tyreek to be Scorpio. Because Scorpios can be real seductive and suave, just like Tyreek. But they're also very loyal people because they think and care about people on a deeper level. Scorpios are really going to make you feel like you are seen and understood. That's how Scorpios are. They pay attention to the details because they're waiting for their time to pounce. I'm telling you, Scorpios, literally everything is calculated for them. That's why he waited so long before he even asked you on a date. He went to her store four or five times. Okay, now I'm going to ask you on a date because he had to get all the information first. He had to figure her out first. So that way he knew exactly how to approach her, exactly how to plan the date. Don't you uh, even want to know what we were going to do? Sure. Well, I was going to start with the flowers. Uh, and then I was going to take you to listen to jazz in the park. I even packed the basket. I had a blanket and food and everything. He can ultimately make her his girlfriend. And he was successful. Jordan is next. Jordan is very hardworking. He was like president or something of the newspaper in high school. And then like joined a fraternity in college. Like he doesn't mind getting his, his elbows putting a little elbow grease in it and rolling his sleeves up. You know, that's the type of person that Jordan is. Jordan is also a bit of a know-it-all. Like, that nigga think he know every goddamn thing. How do you find time to talk when you haven't finished your article? Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. He'll literally argue with you about the sky not being blue. The sky is literally blue. No, it's actually pigmented light that is reflected upon the water. Bro, don't nobody care about all that. He has to be the one that knows everything in the room. and can be super stubborn when it comes to stuff. So I chose Jordan to be a Capricorn because Capricorns are super stubborn and they are very much so workaholics. Very overly ambitious, but they don't know how to balance their work life. Diavion. Okay, I love Diavion, y'all. She's very witty, very much so a great sense of humor, very free spirit. And she literally, like, y'all saw her with a boyfriend for like two episodes. And after that, she was like, I need me to, I, I can't be tied down. And then a little bit of a slick mouth, too. She'll literally treat you real quick. Or like, if you say something to her and you complain about something you shouldn't be complaining about, she'd be like, oh, what a pity. She do not have time for the nonsense. I chose her to be a Sag because Sages are super funny and silly. Her mouth is very slick like a Sag, too. Sages, they mouth. It'll get them in trouble. They don't have no filter on them. They don't know how to be phony. They don't understand those concepts. Because everybody else in the world always naturally puts on this little phony act to be nice. But sad just don't do that. They get a bad rep for being rude or whatever. They really just being real. Commitment phobes though. That's why Diavion, that's why I chose her to be sad. Like she wanted to be free so bad. They feel like that's restricting them. And they're a sign that wants to just be free and wander around the seven seas. Rhonda, like I was telling y'all, so this is Bianca Lawson. Her dad played Victor, who ended up marrying Lisa on the show, who is currently married to Beyonce knows a mama, Tina. Beyonce and Bianca Lawson, who played Rhonda on Sister Sister, are sister-in-laws. No, stepsister, sorry. Rhonda's very cold and mysterious, very rude too. So I chose her to be an Aquarius because Aquarius is very much so could come off a little rude. They just have this cold nature to them. Like Rhonda was snooty, so she just came off very like, I don't need, I don't need anyone. You guys are all just beneath me, you peasants. It was because she just kind of like felt like she was above everybody. And not to say that that was a good thing, but that's how Aquarians mind think. Like they really do have this grandiose sense of like the world and understanding of the world around them and what's important and what's not. So like the little trivial things in life, they just could care less about. Actually, I'm really trying to figure out how to end world hunger. So I really don't care about this football game. They just think on a deeper, like higher spiritual level. Now I really just feel like they can come off a little cold and distant, but it's really because they on another planet somewhere so don't even take offense to it yeah that's why i chose ronda because she was so mean she thought she was better than everybody and i'm not saying that aquarius just think they better than everybody but sometimes they real life be thinking they above like certain stuff like sarah sarah was played by the late britney murphy r.i.p y'all man britney murphy bro man great girl i really like sarah's character she was only in there for a few episodes in the earlier seasons she's really sensitive really sweet very loving very nice but like i said she is a little bit on the sensitive side she felt like tia replaced her with tamara so i chose her to be cancer because cancers can be very overly sensitive about certain things because they feel things personally like they just kind of like take stuff in then they internalize it instead of just releasing it and not taking stuff personal and they're very kind-hearted people just like sarah and she just was so loving like remember when she had snuck her boyfriend over that was so cute and she was just like I just want to be with my boyfriend she was at a whole sleepover sad because she missed my boyfriend like that is such a cancer thing to me bro we had a birthday party right now you worried about some stuff that's 300,000 miles away that you can't do nothing about in this very moment I'm not saying don't worry about it
about it, but like right now, just enjoy where you at presently. It's okay. Finally, Vivica. Vivica was such a gold digger, bro, but she was a hustler. I will give her that. She was a hustler. She was gonna get her money, bro. And she really just enjoyed wooing these men, just really being very sensual. I am more than just a weather personality. Boo. I'll see you at the station. Hello, I'm Vivica. She really looked out for herself and only herself. So I chose her to be a Taurus because Taurus can be very materialistic, but it's really because they enjoy the finer things in life. But they're very sensual beings. Like they love to touch people and love on them and show them affection because that earth sign to them is very practical. So they want to show you by giving you gifts, tangible things, touching you, physical. Everything about physicality is what gets them going. She was a gold digger and a little bit materialistic, but she was about that coin though. That's one thing about a Taurus. They're going to get that money. That is my little spin on the sister sister characters as zodiac signs. So if you really like this one, make sure you check out my other video here. Comment below a show that you would like me to do and if I've seen it, I'll do it. If not, I might just watch it and do it for you guys because I really enjoy these. And you guys really like them too. These videos always do numbers on my channel. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can get updated when I post another astrology video. And it might just be the one that you comment below i will see you in the next video see you later i'm just trying to find myself sometimes i feel alone like i'm by myself i even ask why myself but can't forget that i'm still blessed